Hi there, um, it's Amari and uh, welcome to Electronic Stuff. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be controlling a uh, DC motor. Uh, I mean, a 12 uh, fan, a 12 volt fan, okay, uh, with ESP32 using Blink IoT, okay. Uh, so, and uh, we're going to be printing out, okay, the speed of the DC motor uh, on an LCD I squared C. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, the microcontroller that uh, I've been using today is the uh, ESP32 and uh, these two cables are going to pin um, 15 and pin 2. So pin 15 is the uh, PWM uh, pin. So I'll be connecting uh, the pin 15 uh, to enable uh, input A, okay, and A, and uh, pin 2 to in 1. Okay, so I need this cable, so I'll be connecting this cable to ground, okay, that's the ground of the uh, ESP32, okay, uh, and um, so now I'm going to, to power uh, the driver, the uh, L298 and driver okay uh, this motor driver uh, I, I'm going to use uh, the uh, 12 volts okay so I'm going to connect the ground of ESP 32 to ground of the um, the driver okay and uh, so so I put together the ground of the uh, ESP32 and the ground coming from this from the um, 12 volt source okay so that's the uh, plus 12 volt okay okay it's set up it's all good okay so now uh, the uh, I'm going to connect okay the 12 volts fan to motor driver okay so the positive side goes to out let me see out one and the negative side to out out two as you can see here okay that's the um, negative side to out to okay so uh, we need to to do that so that uh, uh, yeah, everything um, goes well so now uh, now I need to connect the um, LCD I squared C uh, to ESP32. As I said in the beginning of this video, we're gonna be uh, print out the speed of the um, 12 volt fan. Uh, on the uh, on this LCD, okay. So the mm, so um, ground to ground, okay. And uh, the VCC from the uh, LCD goes to uh, V in 
of the uh, microcontroller and the, the pin SCL to pin um, 22 and uh, the pin SDA okay the, the data pin to pin uh, 21 okay so that's the uh, SCL pin SCL and uh, this one is th is the um, uh, SDA pin 21 okay guys so now we need to power the driver if we, we don't power if we don't power it <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry that that is motor drive that is um that 12 volt the 12 volt fan is not going to work so now we connect the um, esp32 to our laptop so we can upload the code but but uh, before that okay we we need to uh to create a project on on the uh, blink web okay so we log in so my project is already already created and um, I've uh, made a video about that okay how to create a, a project so on Bl blink web okay blink yeah blink cloud so that's to to create you click on new template to, to create a project and uh, my project is called Dissimoto speed and uh, i've only one uh, um one data streams okay the data streams and uh, i'm going to call it speed okay uh it was brightness now it's speed because uh i'm going to be controlling the speed of uh this 12 volt fan so you we need a slider okay this widget okay to control the the speed so we save and uh, we, we go to now we go where we go okay yeah so my data stream the the, the max value is uh, 40 and uh, 95 and the mean value is zero and uh, the type the data type i can pick integer okay you you, you can pick uh either integer or um double okay now I, I i click on we save and uh, then we we click on search okay so then we click on new device from template we, we click that and uh, we choose the uh, our t our template okay um our project so that's our project okay created now you need uh, those codes okay you cap that and uh, you go to the um, Arduino ID and uh, you paste them there okay you replace uh, I'm going to replace this um, uh, old um, blink uh, um, authentication so that's the uh, the libraries for these are the libraries for for uh, blink iot and esp uh, 32 that's the uh, the library for the um, lcd everything he here is for lcd display 
so that's the uh, the uh, authentication code that's the name of my Wi-Fi and um, that's the uh, the password of my network uh, which is my Wi-Fi so we need to create a PWM signal okay that's the the way we uh, create okay uh, when it comes to ESP32 that's the, the, the pin 15 uh, which is going to deliver us um, a PWM signal so pin 2 is the uh, input 1 on the uh, driver okay so we that's the um, for uh, uh, the uh, um, LCD and to create the uh, PWM signal in one okay re remains I high okay okay and uh, yeah in inside of void loop uh, with two important functions okay and uh, they going to run f forever so w uh, that's the uh, blink write function okay so inside of blink write function with the variable data that uh, is going to save the value f that goes from 0 to 4095 coming from the uh, internet okay um, um so now here we, we use the uh, map function to create the uh, pwm signal so we clear everything on the uh, um, lcd display and uh, we set the cursor at this position and uh, we print out this message the motor speed and um, we set the cursor for um, at this position and uh, we print out the speed okay of the uh, p of the uh, the motor okay uh, the PWM signal and we, we, we wait um, 150 milliseconds and uh, now uh, um, so that's the uh, the PWM signal okay so guys everything is good we can go ahead and um, upload the program so guys i've already made a video on how to create a, a blink account okay step by st step by step and uh, so also a, a video on, on how to use the uh, esp32 with arduino id okay guys so you 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 check them out okay guys we are uploading the program so after uploading uh, um, so we need to go to our mobile phone and uh, we, we need to set up our project on blink inside of blink uh, iot app so that's the project okay it's already set up so to set up you you need the uh, slider okay this guy uh over here but uh i've already it okay so um, speed control okay so that's the um uh the project on blink iot app it's going to appear automatically okay guys uh, so 
okay now we, we we can control okay the dc motor okay uh, so as you can see uh it's going to start um to start spinning at the uh 91 okay that's the motor speed okay guys so um, th that's the uh, max speed okay the p uh in fact th that's the um pwm signal so i i can also go back decreases the uh, the speed okay right now i think the uh my network is weak okay that's why it doesn't uh, update okay but uh, if if we wait a a few seconds uh it's going to update okay yeah and uh it did okay so guys thank you so much and i see you hi there um it's Mari and uh, welcome to electronic stuff so in today's tutorial we're gonna be controlling a uh, dc motor uh i mean a 12 uh, fan a 12 volt fan okay uh, with ESP 32 using blink IOT okay uh, so and uh, we're gonna be printing out okay the speed of the DC motor uh, on an LCD I squared C okay so let's get started <laughs> 